Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to teach you to make one of my favorite recipes. This is so simple to make. It virtually takes no time at all. It's great tasting and it's a great addition as a main dish or side dish to any meal. And I'm talking about my creamy asparagus soup. One of the cool things about this recipe that makes it unique is for the cream base, I actually use avocado. So you get all the benefits of avocado without any of the negative benefits of using dairy. Okay, let's run through the ingredients for this recipe before we get started. First, we've got obviously asparagus. Asparagus are great because they're actually known as what's called a prebiotic. You're probably familiar with probiotics. Foods like asparagus are what's known as a prebiotic. They actually feed that good bacteria. So while you're eating this, you're feeding your body, but you're also feeding that good bacteria, so you're increasing your immune function. Next, and almost as important is our bone broth. Now I've got one that is made here locally in Dallas from a place called Green Grocer. They make their bone broth from chicken bones in-house from pasture raised chickens. So I really encourage you, if you have that available to you, to get something like a pasture raised local bone broth. If you don't have that in your area, that's totally fine. You can actually go to a company called US Wellness Meats .com and order any sort of bone broth. But I'm using chicken stock, chicken bone broth for this recipe. We've got the avocados, which I touched on earlier in the intro, but the cool thing about avocados that I want you to know is it has um, a fat called oleic acid that actually helps you to absorb the nutrients of the foods that you're eating. So this is always a great addition to any meal. Next, we've got an onion. Onion, just like the asparagus, is a, known as a prebiotic. So it's a superfood. It's got a lot of great properties to it. Then we've got garlic. Garlic is known in wellness as the penicillin of nature. This, is actually, this stuff is actually stronger than penicillin. When I get a cold or when I'm feeling uh, ill or if it's cold and flu season, I make sure I put a lot of garlic in my recipes. Now, again, all this stuff, if you like onion, if you like garlic, I really encourage you to put it in because it's gonna increase the flavor profile. Last two things we're gonna put in is for flavoring, a bit of cumin and some Hawaiian pink salt here. Again, this stuff is to be used at your discretion. I always encourage you to start with a little bit and add a little bit more as you go. All right, so when I'm chopping the asparagus, typically, let me show you this with one of these spears. Most of the times, and I just learned this actually too, you can take asparagus if you're just gonna cook it and bend it, and wherever it breaks, this last part is that really fibrous, chewy part that you really can't eat that well. It's kind of chewy. So most people discarded this, but we're gonna blend the mess out of this thing in a little bit. So this is actually a great source of fiber. So I'm gonna use every bit of this asparagus that I can today. And as soon as I finish chopping this, I just put it right in the pot. So now I'm just gonna give the garlic a little mash and a rough chop. Because we're gonna blend this, you really don't have to chop it up much at all. Just by adding a clove or two of garlic a day to some meal that you're making, that can greatly increase your immune function. Okay, so now we have the asparagus and the um, garlic in the pot. We're gonna add the last two ingredients, the broth and the onions. So I'm gonna put about a cup to two cups of broth in the pot. And then I'm gonna use the equivalent of about one chopped onion in there. Okay, so while our ingredients are heating up in the pot, let's go ahead and get the avocados prepped. It's really simple. You just cut them in half, hit it with the knife, take the seed out, and I'm just gonna spoon it out and put it in the blender. Okay, it's been about seven, 10 minutes, and our ingredients are ready to roll. Basically what I've done is steamed the asparagus and the onion and the garlic. So it's boiled and it's steamed. Take it off the flame. And now all I'm gonna do is transfer it. Once I get the stuff into the blender, I'm gonna add salt. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with cumin. Then I'm also gonna add some fresh cracked black pepper. So we've got everything in the blender. We're ready to roll. So all I'm gonna do from here is just turn it on and start the blending process. And typically what I like to do is I'll kind of pulse it for a second. And then as it starts to blend, I ease into it. And the thing with the blender, if you want your soup more chunky and less creamy, then just don't blend it as much. Again, it's your personal preference. I like my stuff really creamy. So after it's blended for about 30 seconds, you can see the steam coming out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let that sucker rip. And there is your creamy asparagus soup. This is a great main dish. This is a great side dish. However you want it, just make sure you're eating it.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video that you just watched. For more videos like that, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also for more fitness and health related tips, visit my website at eatrealandmove.com.